Rose Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, we are still in Miami. This is a Miami vlog and we're going to start off with a little spring haul from Michael Kors. I am working with Michael Kors again, not here on YouTube, but over on Instagram and I love working with them because they have amazing quality pieces for a really affordable price. Um, they're always having sales too. So we're gonna hop right in with a quick haul, starting with my outfit of the day. First of all, ever since I saw like the latest Chloe show that really was given boho, I've been kind of dibbling and dabbling in a boho vibe. And I also think when I wear my natural hair out like this, it's definitely giving like boho, like chic. Um, so the first dress is this gorgeous maxi dress. Um, at the top of it, it has like a, the stretchy material. And then at the bottom, it's tiered. It does have a lining underneath, so it is not sheer. I love it. I'm wearing a medium in this dress. I would highly suggest going with your normal size. I am five foot six inches tall and without a heel, this skirt touches my feet. So it's very, very long, super whimsical, really kind of picks up the wind when you're walking in it. I also love that it comes with this really cool like Western style leather belt that is adjustable and the hardware on the belt is silver. I don't know if you can see, but it has like Michael Kors in the silver circles. But this brown against this white, definitely giving boho, definitely giving that cowboy, cowgirl feel with the belt that's trending right now, thanks to Beyonce. Um, and I love this dress. I feel very like whimsical and beautiful and elegant in it. I can definitely see myself wearing this like out to the park maybe in Prospect Park or Central Park in New York City with the girls, with some drinks, with some snacks, or even on like a cute day date. I feel like this would be so beautiful. I'm pretty sure it comes in a few colors, so I will be sure to link it down below. Now I have five more items in addition to this dress, so let's get into the rest of this haul. Okay, next up we have another dress, but this one is definitely giving more mod vibes than boho vibes. So this dress is a white mod dress. It's not necessarily a mini dress. For me, it hits me a little bit below mid thigh. So I think it's still pretty modest. I love the straps on this dress. I feel like in a previous spring haul, I showed you a similar dress in pink, um, but I, the white for spring is doing it for me. And for summer, um, it fits really well. It has a little dart here on the bust so that it holds you in. It is double lined and the cotton is quite thick, but it does have a little bit of stretch. I also got this in a size six. I feel like the six fit me perfectly, like it was perfectly tailored for my body. It does have a back zipper in silver, and I love the square neckline. This is just very chic and modern. Um, and elevated like it looks a lot more expensive than it is but the quality on this is stunning so I'll be sure to link this down below again I think it might come in a few other colors as well um, so yeah let's get into a few of the accessories from Michael Kors because you guys know I always pick out a few accessories to style the looks with we will start with this really cool pair of shoes. Okay, so you guys know your girl loves shoes and if I could be any shoe, I would be a mule. And these are so comfortable. These are probably the most comfortable pair of mules or even shoes that I've ever gotten from Michael Kors. But these are denim mules. 
Um, they do have about a one inch heel. So it's not necessarily a kitten heel. It will give you a little bit of height, but the heel is lower. You can see the Michael Kors emblem on the back of the heel. Ugh, these are so comfortable. And you guys know how I feel about denim. I mean, I got a denim, a denim bag here. I have a denim bag there. I have a pair of denim Tom Fords. What I don't have is a denim mule, but now I do have one courtesy of Michael Kors. So shout out to them. And I love this fringe detailing on the shoe it is super padded they have a square toe which is very popular right now and i love them i got them in a size 10 the 10 fits perfectly i am a true us size 10 and the 10 is n on the nose so their shoes are very much true to size now in addition to these mules i got two bags of course and one of the bags matches the mules perfectly so Michael Kors has this denim frayed, kind of like a baguette style bag. It's super light. There's denim on the bottom, denim on the side, and then it has this frayed denim. I'm not sure you can see, but here in silver detailing, it says Michael Kors, but it blends in really nicely so that it almost just looks seamless. It has silver, um, a silver strap with the Michael Kors emblem embedded in a few and then it has a navy blue leather strap at the top. It's quite spacious on the inside. Um, there's literally just one pocket on the inside. And it definitely matches the shoes perfectly. Now you guys know I'm a Southern girl. And so I like matching my shoes to my bag. Like I don't see a problem with that. I feel like it really ties an outfit together. So yeah, we have the shoes and we have the matching bag. Now, of course, that wasn't all I got. <laughs> I got another bag as well because I wanted these sandals, but the sandals sold out of my size. I'm so sad, but at least I got the bag, which is her. She's got, she's gorgeous. She, I was trying to say gorgeous. I said storgeous. You know what? Maybe that's just a new word. She's storgeous which is a combination of stunning and, <laughs> and gorgeous, okay? She's storgeous. This is a Raffia Michael Kors bag. You can see the Raffia on this is very well made. This thing is not gonna unravel on you, but it has the silver Michael Kors emblem and a back shot of like white leather. We have a white leather strap. We also have a silver strap. Um, both of these straps are removable, which is wonderful. So if you just want to do the silver strap, you can just do silver. If you just want to do the white, you can do the white. But I love the option of being able to interchange those. And both straps do come automatically with the bag. Now on the inside, we have a magnetic closure. That's very sturdy. So your bag will stay closed. And then we have a pocket on the inside. Nothing zippered, but on the inside is more like a canvas. Very, very stiff, which I like because that means this bag is actually going to hold its shape. Now, in addition to having the white strap, they also have one with a more of like a, a tan brown leather strap. And then the backsplash here is like a tan leather brown. So you can either go for the white or for the tan, but I feel like for spring and summer, you're gonna wanna go with the white. And you guys know I just love a good raffia bag, but I don't have one like this. It definitely fits the phone. It fits all of your essentials. And it just looks so chic. Oh, I love this bag. So they did have a pair of like white and raffia sandals to kind of match this bag, but they sold out in my size. But I will still link those down below if you want to have like a matching, you know, flat sandal bag moment for spring and summer um last but not least i got a pair of sunglasses let's get into those all right guys last but not least i got a pair of sunglasses from michael kors they all come in this like white hard case that has a button closure which is great and i went for these because i don't have anything like this in my sunglasses collection these are like reflective, but they're reflective in silver. Now I have a reflective in gold and a reflective in like a color, but nothing reflective in silver. Um, the whole 
shape of the sunglasses is aviator i love the design around the lenses so let's put these on they're giving now this one looks so great with like my silver bottega earrings or any silver or my tiffany silver link earrings because the whole frame is silver and i don't think i have anything in my sunglasses wardrobe where everything is silver in fact i'm looking at all of my pairs now and i do not so this works out perfectly for when i wear like my silver earrings and um necklaces and such during spring and summer they're actually quite fabulous and i love that michael kors has such a big array of sunglasses and they're all pretty affordable again they always are having sales in fact I believe I have a code for you guys. Let me get it for you. Just kidding guys, that code was, <laughs> was for something else. But they tend to have a lot of sales, like Mother's Day sales, um, Memorial Day sales. I believe those are the most upcoming like sales that are happening. Um, and they usually have like a 15 or 20% off signing up for things, so yeah. I just want you guys to know these things are pretty affordable even though Michael Kors is a household name and a pretty major designer brand. So yeah, I will link these down below. I will also link a few other favorites from Michael Kors including spring dresses, sandals, bags, and accessories. All right, you guys, so that is it for my Michael Kors haul. I'm going to go ahead and insert the reel or some content that I created for them for Instagram. And then I think we're going to head out and find some lunch because I'm starving. I've really been into mod style dresses, especially for spring. So in partnership with Michael Kors, let's style this one. So here is the dress on. I'm loving the fit. I got this in a size six. It does have a little zipper. In the back, the shoes were going with these denim mules from Michael Kors. You guys know how I love denim and how I love a good mule. Okay, so I need your help picking out a bag. Do we go with the denim bag that matches the mules I'm wearing? Or do we go with this white and raffia bag from Michael Kors? Sound off below in the comments and click the link in my bio to shop the look. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that content and it would help me out so much if you would go over to my Instagram and interact with the content that helps me out with the brands and they continue to work with me. Um, and if you liked any of the pieces, you can head to my description box. I've linked everything down below along with a few other favorites. So I'm about to get myself together because I'm going to head to lunch. I've taken you guys to Esme. I've taken you to like my little French place a ton of times. So I think today I'm gonna go to Curio by Faina Bazaar. They have a cute little cafe. And then I want to go shopping at Curio um, because my birthday is next month. I also have a gala to go to. I have two galas to go to next month. Um, not the Met Gala girl, I wish. But very kind of super cool things that I haven't been invited to before. So I need occasion dresses. So we're gonna go birthday and occasion dress shopping at Curio and they have some of the best dresses. So we're gonna try on a bunch of things. Um, I wanted to show you the hairspray I've been using for like hold. It's not this one, where's the other one? It's actually from Zara. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but Zara does have um, hair products now. And this is their hairspray. Spray it for a finished hairstyle with natural movement, shine, and a light hold. Disappears at the stroke of a brush. So normally when I take my twist out, because this is a flat twist on semi-dry hair with um, Pattern Beauty. By the way, if you want to know all the hair products I use in depth from the time I wash my hair, if I do a slick low bun, what I use when I have my braids in, what I use to grow my hair, how I blow dry my hair straight, how I do my flat twist, wet products. Every single hair product that I use is in a blog post. Um, I've linked it down below. It's my spring hair and skincare routines, like in depth. I go through every single step of when I use every single product and I linked every product as well. So if you've been wondering about my skincare or anything I do with my hair, no matter the style it's in, 
I have linked that blog post down below and in a pinned comment, you can check it out. But yeah, usually once I take this out, I spray it with some cold spray, but I forgot to do that this morning, so we're gonna do it now. And I will link this Zara hairspray. I've been using it for about a month now, and I actually really love it. <laughs> and it smells so good, and I love like the jars. So this is the Zara hairspray. I'll link it. This is their curl activator. I have tried this, but I feel like I need a few more tries of it to give it like a true like uh, recommendation for you guys. But yeah, this, she the truth. This is some good hairspray. Like I don't feel like it makes your hair crunchy or it holds so much that you can't get it back in a curl or you can't get it back in like a style. So you just spray it on and you kind of work it in. I think this is also anti-humidity, which is, girl, I need it. I need it from Miami because the humidity is on a hundred. So I'll be sure to link this down below. I actually think I forgot to put this in the blog post. This is the only product I forgot. Okay, so that's good. I feel like that's gonna last while I'm outside. Um, I'm gonna top off my lip gloss. You guys know, Dior, this is like literally the only lip gloss I wear now. It is the Dior Lip Glow Oil in Rosewood. And it's just my favorite. It gives such a beautiful, natural lip. Like, she's my go-to. And I think that having, having like a Mother's Day sale, I think I have a code. I think it's Mom Day 24 for like a free gift with purchase. I'll be sure to put the coupon code in a pinned comment. Usually that's what I do. If I have new coupon codes with brands, I'll put them in a pinned comment. So the first comment you see, go down there and it'll have all of my codes that are currently working with brands so you can get discounts. So make sure you are reading the comments <laughs> because sometimes I, if I'm not showing a bunch of stuff from that brand, I won't put it in the description box. I'll just put it in a pinned comment. And if you're not reading the comments, then you don't see. But by the way, you should just go ahead and sign up for my newsletter because I put all my coupon codes in every single newsletter. I also show all the things I've bought, all the things I've worn, links to all those things. So in case like four days ago, you were like, dang, I really like that outfit. And then you forgot about it. I will remind you <laughs> and then you can go shop it. Um, any kind of shopping events, sales that are happening. Uh, yeah, I always put all of those things in my newsletter. So, I think that's it. I wanna take this with me. We're gonna throw on some sandals. I wanna wear flats. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna wear my Michael Kors uh, denim heels because we about to be walking around and I don't wanna be bothered. But yeah, I'm gonna wear some flats and we're gonna head out. Okay, speaking of Zara, I think I'm gonna go with these Zara flat sandals that I bought when I was in New York. I did a full shopping in Soho, New York City vlog where I took you in every store, Zara, H&M, Mango, Cost, and other stories, Oak and Fort. And I showed you what they had and I ended up buying these. So I'm gonna wear these today. Since they're white and clear, they'll go with my Michael Kors dress. And they're just easy. And they're actually very, very comfortable. I'll link these down below. I think they are still available. I think they were like 30 bucks. But I like the way it looks. Very clean, very chic. And I think we'll just go for a white bag. I think we'll do my Jody bag in white. We're just gonna go with my Jody bag in white. I would wear my denim one for, oh, maybe I'll wear my other one from Michael Kors, but I feel like it doesn't match with this belt. We'll just go with my white bag, <laughs> but I need something big because sometimes when I buy stuff, I, I, I just want to put it in this bag and not carry multiple bags. So let's put our Dior Lip Glow Oil in here. Do we want a sunglass? We do. Let's do something brown since this brown belt We'll just keep it all the way boho with these Gucci brown oversized sunglasses. I'm loving this. I'm, I'm looking very boho. 
Um, if these are still available from Gucci, I'll link them. We need my phone. Oh, you guys, I wanna show you another mixture I'm loving. On my skin, we're gonna go for the L'Occitane Dry and Sensitive Skin Ultra Rich Body Cream. And I forgot I had this. This is the Maison Francis Kurt de Jean Baccarat 540 um, Sparkling Body Oil. And I got this in a gift bag um, at Christmas from the Maison uh, Francis, Francis team, from the Baccarat team. And I forgot all about it. I haven't even worn it. So let me show you what all of these products do. I don't know. I don't think I have anything on right now. If I do, it's this. So I like to put this all over my body when I get out of the shower. It just smells so good. It's not, it doesn't give you much of like a glow, but it is so moisturizing and it smells incredible. Like you can see the moisture. Oh, it's a very light, clean smell too. It's not overpowering. But since your girl has her shoulders and her clavicles out, let's get into this. I don't even think I've ever even tried this. So it's a twist off cap. It has like a little squeeze bottle top. You have to shake it up. Let me shake it up just a little bit. Okay. And this does smell like Baccarat, which is one of my favorite fragrances. I'm just gonna dab some of that into the palm of my hand hopefully you can see it and you can see like the little bits of gold in it this is like so good for summer oh my god it smells amazing oh it smells so good i haven't been wearing baccarat a lot because so many people wear it like it kind of turns me off but every time i wear it again i'm just like wow Wow. Wow, I can see the sparkles. You can probably see it better like once I'm in the sun, but it's giving, it's giving skin. Ooh, I love it. I need to do a blog post of like summer glisten favorites because this is gonna be on the list. All right, you guys, I will link both of those down below. I'm gonna call my Uber. Let's head to lunch and let's go do some shopping.
right guys just leaving curio at faena they actually moved the morphe vintage spot upstairs inside it used to be downstairs right here where this new swim shop is um i tried on a ton of like andrea iyama pieces like swimwear vintage nothing fits even though i'm like the skinniest i've ever been not not that i've ever been but i'm pretty thin right now so i'm feeling very small but nothing was fitting so yeah um i love that andrea iyama fringe dress i'll link it down below and like the yellow dress the yellow dress was one size too small i needed a medium and the fringe dress i had on a medium but it wasn't doing anything for my figure like when you shake it looks beautiful but like otherwise i feel like it just wasn't doing enough i wanted to maybe wear that to this gala that i'm going to so yeah that was a bust and so now i'm gonna head over to find a hotel and get a drink and just chill at the bar before heading back home by the way i got so many compliments on my outfit everyone loves this belt <laughs> from um michael kors but the belt comes with the dress but yeah you can also wear take the belt off and wear it with other things and it is giving that western vibe so again i'll link it down below let's go to faena hotel which is right across the street because Faina, they had a wedding. <laughs> Everyone looked amazing though. All right, gonna head home and get some work done, but I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. after my workout this morning because I'm about to go live on YouTube a video was supposed to go live today but I was working with the brand they didn't approve it in time which is one of the things I greatly dislike about <laughs> working with brands for YouTube integrations I mean I am grateful but like I would just want to make sure you guys have your content uh, so I'm about to go live for an hour I did an everyday makeup look. I have a little bit of Dior Lip Glow Oil in Rosewood. And then I put on this Roberto Cavalli dress. I believe it's old. I got it from Ukes maybe. Um, but he actually just passed. So I'm like paying homage. And wearing this really cool, colorful Roberto Cavalli dress. So let me show you my setup and I might throw in a little bit of behind the scenes clips, but of course I will save the live. So if you missed it, go back and give it a watch. All right, so here's my setup. I have it set up on top of a suitcase and this box from Scaparelli and then my laptop. And then I'm just going to sit here in this chair and we're gonna chat. All right guys, I just finished up my live. I was on live for two hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> it was so good though, like the questions that everyone asked, it was just lovely just to connect with everyone. Um, it was great, but I'm starving now. <laughs> I need to eat. Um, I think I'm gonna take myself to like my favorite little French spot and get some lunch. Um, because now it's about 2. What time is it? It's 2.10. So I'm going to head over there. I'm going to get some brunch. 
and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of work while I sit there. I think I'm gonna try and edit a reel and get it and get that up. Uh, and then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna like finish compiling all the things for uh, my taxes. Um, yeah, I feel like tax time is so stressful, especially for like content creators because we're like contract workers. I'm telling you, I have like 50 of these little 1099, <laughs> these little 1099 NEC forms, girl. Um, it's a lot. It's so much easier when you just got a W, a W-2. Okay, this is the things that people don't tell you when you become a like full-time, like self-employed person. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave on this Roberto Cavalli dress. I've had this dress for so long. Um, I've shot it before, so you've probably seen it. I don't think it's like available anymore, but one of my favorite dresses and it has these little gold sequin straps but i think i'm gonna leave this on and just throw on my black fendi slides and head over and get some something to eat because my stomach is growling i wanted to show you guys some new end products but i'm so tired <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. Let me quickly show you guys these products and then I'm gonna go and eat. Or should I show should I show them to you tomorrow? Let's just show them to you now because I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be. So I'm gonna show you some new end products that I got from La Mer, from Shop Bop, and from Bare Minerals. So let me get that together and I'll show it. All right, guys, so let's get into it. First up, I got a little something from Shop Bop. They are celebrating their 25th anniversary. I believe they already had like a party in New York City, I think. But they are having a series of parties down in Miami Beach um, starting next week. So I will be taking you guys in the vlog. So they sent over a little something. First up, they sent the invitation to their pool party, which is in collaboration with Hungsa G Swimwear, which y'all know I love Hungsa G, and Vacation Inc. And so in here, we have some products from Vacation Inc. as well as from Hungsa G. So if you open this up, inside is a swimsuit from Hunza G. And I remember when Hunza G first came out because I, I bought all the swimsuits. But how cute is this? This is a one piece swimsuit and Hunza G is known for their crinkle swimsuits. I hope you can see that that's crinkly. Um, and usually they're like one size fits all too, I believe. But I don't own a one piece from them. I have like a two piece set. So this is cool. I'll probably wear this because it's going to be a pool party. And I'm so glad they sent me black because I have such a cute little cover up I can wear with this that I showed you guys in a previous video. Very cute. And then we also have some products from Vacation Inc. So let me show you those. We have Chardonnay oil. Now I know Chardonnay the wine, but oil? Um, and this is SPF 30. Cool. It's clean, lightweight, and refreshing, water resistant for 80, for 80 minutes. I want to try this out. Oh, it has a little cover. Um, and then we also have the Chardonnay Broad Spectrum 30 SPF Lip Oil. Your lips need, need SPF too, y'all. I usually use the chapstick, the one in the blue which is the one that has uh, sunscreen in it. And I use that every day because I put it under my lipstick or under my lip gloss every day. But I wanna show you guys what this looks like, but it's trying to act like it doesn't wanna come <laughs> out of this little tube. Okay, I'm gonna have to tear it open. Oh, here it is. It's just like a little oil. I wanna smell it. Oh, it's almost like a like a little lip gloss. Ooh, it smells like vanilla. SPF 30 lip oil. 
It's very light. Super refreshing and it smells good. Mmm. Love that for me. I'll make sure to link all of these down below and I will link some more swimsuits from Hungsa G. If you like the crinkle swimsuits, I actually have a, quite a few crinkle swimsuits that I picked up from ASOS as well. So if they still have those at ASOS, I'll link them. I will also link the Hungsa G ones and you will see me wearing this at their pool party coming up. Next up, we have a little something from La Mer. Um, I'm not sure how I got on this PR list, but I'm happy to be here. Look at this case. Like, this is gorgeous. It's a beautiful brown case, has a little push button. And on the front here, it says, Genesance de la Mer. I'm gonna press this and pop this, whoa, <laughs> pop this open. Look how gorge, how stunning is this? So we have the La Mer um, Serum Essence. We have the Infused Edition Lotion. Is this an eye cream down here? We have the Eye and Expression Cream. We have, oh my gosh, this is a little gua sha. How beautiful. And then here at the top, we have the La Mer um, Concentrated Night Balm. And this is just packaged so beautifully. I don't ever want to get rid of this box. Now, I'm a huge fan of La Mer, so I'm excited to try the Genesance de La Mer. Um, it just, it looks beautiful. <laughs> like the packaging is gorgeous. It's infused with crystal miracle broth um, that is exquisitely crafted collection. It accelerates renewal and transcends virtually all signs of time. I love this. So there's the infused lotion, the new serum essence, the eye and expression cream, and the concentrated night balm, which helps with fine lines and wrinkles while, while you sleep. So shout out to La Mer for sending this over. This is so beautiful. I'm like obsessed with the packaging and I've been really into serums lately, especially night serums. So I'm excited to try this and the eye cream as well and to use the little gua sha. I'm kind of obsessed with gua sha's at the moment and this one is just gorge. And last but not least, Bare Minerals sent me over their new um, Juicy Shine 24 Hour Hydration Lip Balms. How cute, this says Monroe Drench Lips in Juicy Shine 24 Hour Hydration with a formula that melts instantly transforming into a balm and you guys know your girl loves a good lip balm it's like all the brands are up on like lip products right now so here they are the do a double take new dewy lip gloss balm i think they sent me a few of them oh my god they sent me all of them <laughs> oh my goodness I'm not going to be able to test all of these out for you guys, but I'll at least show you them. <laughs> they sent me a ton. Let's see. This one is called Grateful. Let's open this one up. Here's the packaging. Looks really nice. I'm going to open up this one. Called Grateful. It comes in like almost like a rose gold silver case. And I love how they put the color of the ring around here so that like from the outside you can see. And then it's a twist cap push up. Let's see. It does have some color, but also like a balmy shine. That's beautiful. Ooh, smells good too. So I'm not gonna go through all of those, but they come in a multitude of colors, reds, pinks, browns. Ooh, this one looks nice. This one is a brown one called Friendship. That one looks beautiful. I feel like that would be a nice like flesh tone for me. So shout out to Bare Minerals for sending these over. Okay, and last but not least, I just got in a package from Kai Collective. This is my first ever Kai Collective piece. Um, I've been an admirer of the brand for quite some time. It is a black owned business. 
And I love this little tote that it came in. One side says Kai, the other says you are the man. I mean, you are the main character. And I love that. Um, once I saw this dress, I knew I had to have it. You already know what it is. <laughs> I love the colors in this dress. I think this dress is so fun. Um, and I just had to have it. How gorgeous is this dress? Oh, it's the colors for me. Look at the fringe. I love it. It's like kind of like a boat neck. Very, very cute. I'm loving the fringe in red. I love the yellow and how it melts into the red. This is just gorgeous. Such a stunning design. Um, I, what size did I get this in? Did I get it in a small or a medium? I can't remember. And this actually doesn't say. Hmm. I think I got it in a small. Oh wait, it's on the bag. Yeah, I got it in a small, but kind of looking at it, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have gotten a medium. <laughs> Nonetheless, this is beautiful. Definitely check out Kai Collective. They are always doing drops and they come out with such innovative, fun, cool, unique designs. And you guys know I'm loving knits right now and this is a knit. And I think this would just be so cute on my upcoming vacay. Oh, I'm not going to try it on for you guys today, maybe later on in the week. But yeah, happy to have this and I will link it down below. All right, guys, your girl is starving. I have talked for so long on my Insta on my YouTube live that like I don't think I can talk anymore today. So I'm going to head to lunch. I'm going to leave you guys here. I'm going to love you and leave you. And I will see you guys um later on this week when I have some things going on. But I have linked all of those products down below from Bare Minerals, um, from Hungs G, Shopbop, Vacation Inc, as well as La Mer, the new collection, which I'm loving. All right, guys. And thank you to everyone who tuned in to my live. Like the live was popping and y'all are just so encouraging and I love y'all. So thank you for being here. Um, and if you're new here, join the fam and subscribe. Like we have fun. We keep it, we keep it cute and we have a good time, you know? All right, guys, I will see you later on in the week.
y'all. So it is a new day. I got a nice workout in this morning. Got a shower in, did my oral health routine. Got my face together. I don't have on any makeup or anything, just a little bit of the Youth to the People Kale and Spinach Air Whip Moisturizer. My skin seems to love that. And a little bit of the Caudalie Grape Spray. And then I have on my dress from Quince. It's very similar to Skims, but a lot more affordable and the same like, or even better quality. I love this dress. I think I want to get it um, in a few other colors. I think it comes in like 10 colors. And I am wearing a medium. Fits great. I've always wanted like a brown house dress. So I'll be sure to link this down below. I recently did a collaboration with Quince. And now I'm loving their website. They have such cute accessories too. I wish I would have seen the accessories. They have very very trendy sunglasses most of them are under like 50 bucks so fire this one pair I, there's actually three pair that i want from them one is like the celine dupe one is like i've been seeing these sunglasses everywhere they're like tortoise with a purple lens mm. and then some black ones that are like a little bit skinny but they have like oval lenses so cute uh, so I will link uh, this dress from Quince down below and a few more of my favorites, uh, especially accessories from Quince too. So I made myself a little double espresso and my favorite mug that I got from the MoMA design store in Soho. They have such cute like mugs, gifts, all kinds of things. I actually took you guys to Soho shopping a few vlogs ago. So if you missed that, go back and watch it. So today we are actually going to a party. Um, it's like a party slash like a dinner at Mr. C Miami. And I've taken you guys there before. I went to an event there with Kyra Wise Beauty, which, which is a clean makeup brand. And I went there for another event as well. But yeah, I guess they are celebrating um, their anniversary, Mr. C in, I think it's in like Coconut Grove. Uh, Miami so that should be fun Maria's gonna come with me and we're just gonna have like a little girls night out and then I think I might end this vlog like I've been vlogging every few days and I have absolutely no idea what's in this vlog <laughs> I have no idea I'm pretty sure I've shown you tons of things though um so it's about 11 o'clock now I'm going to make myself I'm not very very hungry I think I'm gonna make myself a fruit bowl. I've been loving, I've been like obsessed with fruit bowls for breakfast. Usually I used to do like eggs and maybe like a salad. Um, and I probably do need that protein since I worked out, but I've been obsessed with fruit bowls. I love a uh, honeydew with a little bit of kind granola. A few people have been asking me about this granola and this is my like one of my favorite ones is from kind and it is just the oats and honey granola with toasted coconut it's a good source of fiber made with five super grains no genetically engineered ingredients 100 whole grains so what i like to do is cut up a little bit of honeydew maybe a little bit of um, banana, kiwi if I have it, mango if I have it. Um, and I put a little bit of the granola, sprinkle that on, and then I just drizzle it with honey and I eat that as like lunch. And it's so good. Like it's one of my favorite meals now. But I feel like I haven't had any protein in a while. So maybe I'll make myself some eggs. Um, that'll be good and I have my laptop down here because I need to do some work y'all I had to do my taxes this week I had to film quite a bit of campaigns well just two camp well three campaigns um, and I have some things that I need to edit sorry if the light is going in and out like I use natural light and the Sun just decided to come out just now which looks absolutely beautiful mm. Uh, so yeah, I need to edit some reels and like 
things for Instagram. So that's what I'm going to spend probably the next two hours doing. So I will check back in with you guys later on today when I'm getting ready to head to the party. And of course, I will take you guys with me. And then we will end out this weekly vlog. But I hope you all are enjoying it. I had a little bit of a moment the other day. Like, like let's chat. Let's sit. Let's sit for a minute and let's chat. Okay, so like, I was having a bit of a bad day the other day because i don't know why but i think i'm shadow banned on instagram instagram is literally not showing my content to anyone even the people who follow me and have notifications turned on for me and it just makes me so discouraged i want you guys to know that even the people who you think are doing well which a lot of people look at me as an example of someone that's doing well in the content creator space i go through the same problems as everybody else and it was just like very discouraging because I would work so hard on like my reels and like taking these bomb photos and editing them perfectly and thinking of, you know, great captions and making sure I'm like linking everything and I post and no one sees it. I post it and it takes me hours to get a thousand likes, a thousand. And I have almost 200,000 uh, followers on Instagram. And I don't wanna be one of those people who are always like, oh my God, my Instagram is dying. But it's not just me. I've noticed a lot of, this is happening to a lot of creators. And I think it's just, I don't know what Instagram is doing, but it is my least favorite platform. I, I literally cringe when I have to post something because I get like anxiety that like, especially if it's a brand campaign that no one's gonna see it, no one's gonna interact with it. And it literally just makes me not want to post at all. Like it just makes me want to be like, eh. But I mean, it's such a huge part of my job and my income. And I did used to enjoy it, but like, I feel like they're just, they're just like sucking the fun. They're sucking the fun out of it, <laughs> to be honest. And I, and I know eventually organic reach will be zero for everyone, just because that's the way it goes when you have so many people on a platform. But I'm just, I'm so over it. So if you guys haven't seen my posts lately, please unfollow me on Instagram and refollow. And please go and like, like maybe five or ten photos in a row so that you are shown my content. And if you could just go over there and engage with something, share something, leave a comment. It would greatly help me out. Um, I mean, this is already like the slow, like kind of months for content creation, but... I'm a little nervous at the rate that Instagram is declining with organic reach, not just for content creators, but literally for everyone on the app. Um, I think it's, it's, it's going to change the way brands approach brand campaigns for Instagram, which is why I'm very thankful that I don't have all my eggs in that basket or in just TikTok or in just YouTube and that I have outside sources of income because the landscape of content creation is really at the mercy of social media. And right now, social media and the companies that own these apps are looking to make money and you have to pay to play. And I'm sorry, I'm not paying to boost a post. I'm just, I'm never doing that. Uh, so I refuse. So yeah, I was kind of like discouraged about that and honestly, I had to like pray on it because I'm like, I should not be so worried about this. I shouldn't, this shouldn't irk my spirit so bad. But it's just the fact that I know the work that's gone into what I've done and for it not to be seen, even to the people who are following me so that they can see it, it irks my entire spirit. And so I had to pray on it and then I had to go do like a 20 mile bike ride to get my mind off it and get it onto something else. Um, but yeah, I want you guys to know that like life is not all like cherry pie. Like life is good. Don't get, don't, don't get it twisted. Like the Lord keeps blessing me. The Lord got his hand on me and I am supremely blessed and highly favored. But I mean, I still have times where I doubt myself or I doubt what I'm doing because I'm not getting external, uh, validation, which it's just so dumb. <laughs> I mean, I feel a lot better about it today. I got into my word and I read some things and you know, I prayed about it and I feel, I feel good. But we all have those moments.
So if you're struggling and you are very, very discouraged with how your journey is going, whether you are a content creator, whether you just started a new job, whether you're looking for a job, just know that everybody is going through it. <laughs> and that sometimes you have to feel like this so you can be grateful for the good things that are happening in your life. All right, I will check back in with you guys later on. Mm -hmm.